Yo, what is going on guys? Fortunate here and today we are on Black Ops 1. In today's video, we're going to be using guns I feel no one really used back in the Black Ops 1 Prime. Even though this is a bit opinion based, I guess you can say I'm trying to generalize like Black Ops 1 in the Prime, so I may be a little bit wrong. If you guys have any other suggestions yourself or things you disagree with, let me know down in the comments. This is just going based off of what I thought was the least used or the least heard of in Black Ops 1. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you you guys are brand new and without further ado let's get right into this all right boys i'm gonna start off with one of my first guns the hk21 there we go the hk21 was the first light machine gun you unlock in this game and i feel like it was kind of not really used well i think i just spawned behind them this could be good as i say i think spawning behind them is good i don't find anyone so that's not good you're dead Oh my god, just get turned on, bro. I feel like the HK-21 was kind of underrated because it kind of shot pretty straight and it killed pretty quickly as well. Obviously, I got- Oh, what are you doing, man? He wanted revenge, so he was sitting in the corner waiting for me. I feel like the main light machine gun that anyone used in this game was the M60. And the stoner obviously being the last classified, it was more like an AR than it was a light machine gun. Come on, give me it. Let's go, baby. And obviously I threw a I threw a round the round drum or whatever it's called, 60 round magazine on here, so uh it's got a little bit more ammo. Oh my gosh, this guy's firing RPGs at me. The only problem with a light machine gun like this is just the mobility on it, so it's not like you're rushing around the map killing people a lot quicker, but when you got the angle it was good. As far as this map goes, it's definitely not the greatest map. Let me get that kill. There we go, baby. Let's go. This map tends to go really, really slow paced. I feel like it was really good for s and though. I had a lot of fun with it. You're dead. This map should just probably be in Modern Warfare for how slow it plays. Knife. There's people back here. I couldn't area. take out the RCXD. The only way we're coming back in this game is uh, if we get some streaks rolling, which I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Someone's in here. Got him. Down to this. Pick it up. Got him. Enemy spy plane incoming. I think they're all cleared out of here. Down by 14 kills. Can we make a run or no? Well, it looks like we're going to choke this one up for a loss. Wow. Enemy spy plane above. All right. Yep. And uh, let's move on to our next gun here. 21 and 12. Not the greatest record. Next on the list, that guns nobody really used in Black Ops 1. I have the Uzi. For me, um, yeah. The Uzi mirror. Wow. Can't speak. The Uzi really made no sense to use because of its terrible recoil might as well just hip fire it really did not really even have a chance for some of the other submachine guns in this game yeah i'll just hip fire screw it <laughs> i'm gonna be honest there was only a select number of submachine guns that were definitely uh, viable in this game this guy's running around with a ballistic knife. I give him props because uh, that's fun. Hopefully, I can get some streaks here and uh, make up for the last game. That'd be great. Holy crap. Thank God that guy had the freaking ballistic knife. Almost got panic knife. Let's go. We stay alive, baby. Uh, hold that. We're streaking. Let me call this in real quick and get back to the other side of the map and uh, maybe we can get our dogs here. That would definitely make up for last game. Is this guy going to push this? He is. And I can't make up for it. How did I just die here? My perfect example of why the Uzi is not viable. Still a guy in here? No, he's dead. Okay. 
Wow, look at this score, 39 to 9. Is this guy just sitting in the back or is he coming? Okay, he's going. Enemy spy plane above. I gotta kill this dude. Got him. I mean, I guess from super close range it's not terrible. And I guess when you're flanking enemies from the back, it's not terrible either. I'm 16 in the back. There's no way I win that gunfight, is there? Why? Why, man? Why? He's sitting back there. SR-71 online. Holy crap, my teammate got a freaking Blackbird. Let's go, baby. Yep, hip fire. Yeah, this game is a freaking massacre right now. Friendly dogs, dip out. Friendly dogs, my teammate. Changing back. Inbound. Unless this guy's cheating, I don't know. I ran into a cheater yesterday trying to record this video, and then after that I couldn't find a single lobby, so... Well, that's a win in my book. 25-4, and four, not bad with the Uzi. We're gonna move on to our next gun here. That game was kind of short, to be honest. Holyfield Trey, I guess we'll find out if he's cheating next game if I go against him. The next gun I want to pick for not really being used too much is the Mac 11. We've taken the lead. See, that was like five, six shots right there, and I think that was part of the reason nobody really used this. From range, it was not very powerful, and outside of the fact, without using extended mags, this thing has 20 shots, and if you miss a couple bullets, or you run into two or three people, you don't stand a chance. And I know most of these are basically my own opinion and what I saw back in the day, so don't go too rough on me in the comments. But I definitely did not see a lot of the Mac 11. I'm gonna be honest, I used it maybe like a couple times back in the day. No more than three though. It just didn't suit my post playstyle, and at the time, I mean, there was no really defeating the AK-74U or the MP5. Most of the submachine guns in this game just couldn't keep up with the 74U. Outside of that, I guess the, the MP5 was, wasn't really a close second, but it was second to being like the second best SMG in this game. Unless you guys have any other um, recommendations or freaking uh, opinions. But for me, that's what it really was. I think a lot of people avoided the Mac 11 for the, the reason that it had 20 shots. Like, if you miss a couple bullets, or like I said earlier, you run into two or more people, you're just screwed. Oh, he picked up his controller. Got him. But another thing is the fall off damage. When you're shooting someone from further away, it kind of just like turns into shooting BB guns. SR ready for Got the Blackbird, baby. And there's only Our three SR people on the other team. Maybe I can finally get the dogs I was trying to get, like, the first two games, you know? Wow, I just ate that Claymore. To your left, team. Do people not look at their radar, especially when there's a Blackbird up? Like, oh my gosh. Ran right through them. They destroyed your equipment. Do I have a shot on this kid? Wow. And am I not going to get the dogs again? Probably not. Wow, this game is just extremely slow paced due to there being only three people on the other team. Oh, we got the dogs. Almost died one kill off. We got them though. Call them in. I think we're playing four versus three right now. I might end up not finishing out this whole game. Like, I'll probably cut the rest out. It's just so long and so slow paced. I mean, you guys got the point with the Mac 11. I wish it was a full 6v6 so you know we can finish this out and get a solid score. We're 14 and 1 right now, which is really good, but it's just way too slow at the moment. You're dead. Guy just fell from the top. He was hiding from my dogs the whole time. Yeah, right there, I would have already shot 20 bullets, like the full magazine. God forbid anyone else came running by, I wouldn't have had ammo, I would have had to reload. Oh! Oh! How did the Tomahawk just hit that guy? Alright, I think I'm gonna wrap things up for this game, move on to the next gun. I think you got the point with the Mac 11. This game is just moving too slow to keep it going, honestly. 3 minutes 20 seconds left. We've only got 43 kills as a team. It's kind of going at the pace of a Modern Warfare game, so... Okay, on that note, after that double kill, we can end it. Next up, I wanted to use the single HS-10. I don't think anyone in their right mind or uh, without looking for a challenge would use this. Um, wow, that is just brutal. Three shots from that range. 
Oh, that was a one shot. And I think I just shot my own claymore. This is literally a three versus two. Black Ops 1 is like dead right now, bro. Jeez, dude. This guy's chilling up there. Hold that. Can I climb up the ladder? Nice to meet you. Oh my. <laughs> Besides using this gun to Kimbo, you never really saw just one of them ever. If you did, I mean, hey, it happens. Like I said, my opinions are only opinions. Basically what I saw back in the day. Oh my gosh, dude. I should have used Scavenger, but I wanted to use Marathon Light Raid on a map like this. There we go. Got the Blackbird, and the dogs, and that'll make me happy. The, the Akimbo HS10s I've used um, a couple times in my videos, or maybe once or twice, I don't know, I remember using them. They're extremely fun to use, but I just walked right into that. But like I said earlier, I've never seen someone truthfully run around with just one of these and actually play the game with it. Don't see it too often. This guy's back up on that thing. Bro, what are you doing up there, man? Wait, he's actually using the HK-21 with an ACOG sight, too. That's very weird. Nice two-shot. Ooh, someone's in there. I don't think he was turning around for me. I hope not, but where'd he go? Bro, I can't believe people still use decoy grenades. Even two shots from that close? Oof. I'm already low on ammo. Nice, a one-shot kill. Those don't come around too often. Oh, I saw that guy. I'm just gonna wait here, honestly. Got one shot. Gotta make it count. Oh, I made it count. Give me that Galil. And I just died. Straight up gunfight. I died to a dragon oh, over a Galil. Three shots. Jeez. This guy's coming around. Good night. If that guy was playing with his headset on full blast, he'd definitely jump from that sock on shot. Okay. Nice. Hit marker? Bro, inches away. Outside of all the shotguns in this game, the HS-10 was definitely the least used. Um, where's this guy? Out on the roof or no? Obviously the Olympia is the first shotgun. I gave it a shot a couple of times, like in search and destroy, just running for it. I mean, it's got two bullets and you gotta reload. I mean, two shells, sorry. And then it's past 12 and the stake out. This guy's shooting a pistol at me. Good Victory is near. Crush all resistance. Oh, no way. Three bullets. Nice. I'll hit a sniper. That'll be the game there. 28 and 8. Not bad with the HS10. We almost got dogs. We choked it pretty hard. I think I'm going to cover one more gun here and then we're going to end off the video, boys. So, outside of the people that use the Dragonov when they uh, tried out the default class, the Dragonov is my last choice here. Wait. So, oh, I thought I killed the other guy. Shot the other guy literally almost in the head and didn't get a one shot kill. That's the thing with the Dragonov, bro. Headshot or nothing. I think he was weak. We've taken the lead. Come on, peek, peek, peek. And outside of that, this sniper skill, I hate it. And I think that might have been three bullets right there. Oh, that's a guy. Got him. <laughs> with the claymore in my hand. I want to try and get a streak going with this dragon off, but I'm going to have to play so slow. Oh, I just chucked a nade over here. Come on, just run up here or something. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so screwed, bro. You just tried knifing me from back there? Damn, dude. I lost my Blackbird, though. That sucks. I mean, unless you were playing hardcore, I guess the Dragonov can be kind of viable. But in core, if you're not hitting directly in the head, you might as well throw this thing in the garbage. I guess you can get a one-shot kill from kind of high up, but it's like very inconsistent. And for the snipers that tried to hit feeds with this gun, or used to hit feeds with this gun, God bless you because this thing is tough. 
I just can't even picture myself actually sitting down and saying, okay, I'm gonna use a dragon off today and I'm gonna have fun and I'm gonna enjoy it. I think I'd be pretty pissed after about a game. These guys are shooting down my helicopter. They're not doing too well at it though. He's just running. Forget hip firing with this gun. Wow, that was awful. Also, as I said earlier, everyone's opinion is gonna be different probably, but for the most part, I'm just trying to get a generalized point here. There's obviously things I'm gonna miss. There's obviously opinions that might be wrong, but it's just, like I said, opinion based. Nice. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, let's go. Pretty satisfying when you actually get a one shot kill with this. Ghost? That was a one shot kill. The rocket's going off. Oh my gosh. I'm low key kind of on a streak right now. Just running around hard scoping or no scoping. Teammate. Spraying and praying. One more for a blackbird. And the guy with the dragon off kills me himself. Jeez, dude, he just snapped onto me. I just jump shot it in with the dragon off. Drop into last stand. Thing is, I'm not doing too bad with this. And this isn't even really a sniper map. What is this? Wait, what? Oh my god, the ghost sitting in a corner. Bruh. There's no way I win this. And I guess that'll have to do it. 29 and 7. Not too bad with the dragon off. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.